Assalamualaikum. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that I was going to make a uh, undersuit to go with this, uh, like a overdress. Uh, it's a very fancy overdress with very heavy beadwork and uh, dabka and gora work and so on. Uh, it's all fully stoned and it's one of the ready-mades that you often get from abroad. Uh, this one is very very nicely stitched. It's on pure chiffon, very delicate fabric. It's actually really really um, like really nicely finished off. And um, now when I had this, um, when I bought this for Halima, I actually didn't have uh, the undergarment with this. So I had the intention of either making this in a, um, uh, in a silk in a light silk or in a brocade so i was fortunate enough to come across a piece of uh, banarsi fabric and uh, i'm just gonna show you what i've done I've, uh, it was a three yard piece and i was actually really really stuck because um, i had to struggle to actually get the full suit out so this is uh, like a, just a normal kameez um, it's just a straight coat kameez and uh, what had happened was I was short so I actually joined a piece on over here and then here I have got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, ten, about ten, eleven pieces joined here to actually get this but I knew that this would come underneath the dress and you won't be able to tell so it's actually made no difference but uh, the whole point of showing you guys this is that stuff like this is not something that you can get someone else to do. This is where your own personal touch would come in and it's only yourself that you would combine all the pieces to actually get something like this. So whereas I had difficulty on I was not going to get this full suit, and the likelihood of uh, finding something this color fabric was virtually impossible and this went so well with the suit so uh, joining those pieces has made no difference and it's actually got me a um, really good result I didn't have enough fabric for the sleeves so I've just used very thin chiffon and uh, now this type of fabric is very coarse and very sort of um, thready on the background so what you need to do is to actually line this now I, I didn't have lining and I didn't have time to go out and purchase any lining so I had a navy dupatta it's a chiffon dupatta and I actually just use that it's really good in a way because it um, it stops the itching, it gives the kameez a better fall and it stops all these threads from clinging or sticking. So it's got a backing and uh, it's going to end up making it comfortable. It's not going to make it heavy or anything, which generally the problem with um, these type of fabrics is if you're going to line it with a thicker fabric, it'll stiffen it out. So that's the benefit that uh, using this thin chiffon is actually worked in our favor where we've got a kameez that's not stiffened it's not heavy and she's gonna have another dress but i know she's a very very fussy kid uh, why she would have complained if it irritated or itched her uh, so she's gonna be wearing that dress on top and uh, this is perfectly perfectly adequate for wearing underneath the dress now the trouser is the next part that i quickly want to show you now the trouser, I've cut this in two bits and again, um, I had a slight bit of a shortage on the fabric and um, I had to put a little bit of a piece on the top of uh, the belt. Now it's actually going to be all hidden away so it's not really, really not going to make any difference at all. So I've joined a piece, a piece, a couple of pieces there just to get the shape. Now what I've done with this trouser is I've cut a very fitted sort of a trouser and uh, these are both facing, these are two front legs. Okay, and really this is what I want to sort of show because I've lined, I'm going to be lining this trouser. So these are two uh front leg pieces and they're both facing each other i was like i mentioned i was very very limited on the fabric so i had to be really really careful on how i cut this i cut the lining uh slightly bit longer on the top 
than the other but apart from that I've cut it exactly identical now what I'm gonna do is uh, I've laid these out I'm gonna run a seam across here on both the punji on the front and the back okay uh, so the back two leg pieces are longer crotch lengths so again what we're gonna do is um, lay these facing each other so I'm, I'm only laying this to demonstrate uh, this is not how they're going to get attached later on so all I'm going to do is run the identical seams face these towards each other and there's going to be four seams and I'm just going to run these seams across and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step of what I'm going to do with this trouser. So all those four seams, I'm going to just uh, run those across, give it a press and then bring it back and just show you how we're going to stitch the next part of this trouser. <laughs> 